Serena, not upside down. Face. I am going to do a quick recap. We're drawing something simple. We start out with very basic shapes and proceed to not so basic shapes. <coughs> Try not to hold your pencil too hard or press down too hard. I press down a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. But our initial lines that we make and our initial shapes, they get erased. So you wanna be able to erase them. So besides my pencil, I've got a new pencil too. I have my pencil, my eraser, paper towel. Not everybody has stumps. I use these occasionally. They're good to have. I also use a compass. If you feel like using a uh, cup or something, because we are going to make a circle, because that is a lot of times our basic shape. So we are going to draw a rubber duck. And its head is a fairly good size. I'm going to put it up here so we have enough room below. This is body is another circle, a little bit bigger. I'm going to start with a circle for his head. And I'm going to lightly do this, which I know you won't be able to see. And then I'm going to darken it in a little dark. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be exact. I couldn't resist saying that, did he? I thought it was the other way around. It's, it changes back and forth. Okay. Makes me laugh anyhow. See, Monica knows that stuff. I've been with her for a lot longer, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be exact. Okay. I thought it was it just didn't have to be. Yeah. Exact. It just has to be perfect. I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling and the day, the day you catch me. So there's our circle. Not too perfect of a circle. I'm going to draw a cross line here. Dead center. On or about. Cross line here. And I'm making these lines light because I want to erase them. Okay. We're going to have another circle that's going to be slightly larger down below, and we'll get to that in a second. I'm going to take half of this circle and use this as a guide over here on or about. I do a lot of measuring with my fingers. You can measure with the pencil, or you could use a ruler, but I don't want it to be quite, quite at the halfway point, so I made it back a little further. This is Mr. Duck's B. I'm going to come down here a little bit, not quite at the halfway point. I'm going to make a little line out. This is his, his mouth. And I want it to curve up because we don't want an unhappy duck. Where this line is, at the end of his beak that I made here is gonna tell me where the circle down here goes. This circle is only a little bit bigger than this circle. So I'm gonna make a little mark here and then I'm gonna make another mark down. So this is gonna be a circle here. Again, this one doesn't have to be all that exact either. Even less so than the other. So this is it. And Mr. Duck has a bit of a neck there and a bit of a neck there. So now I'm going to clean this line up here. And I'm going to erase my spare things. The other thing, 
that I tell people to do is, if you have a piece of paper, you can use that under your hands so you don't get smeary graphite all over the place. I don't do that because you couldn't see what I was doing if I had a piece of paper covering my drawing. Okay. So the tail end of Mr. Duck here is not quite half, no, not quite, not quite a circle, a full circle. So it's all about proportions. I figure out the proportions of the drawing and go by that. And I'm going to bring him up and around. This will come down. Big teardrop shape. Almost. Move it up the side. And we've got the beginnings of our duck. So it should be here more. Okay, my circle is a little off right there. That's okay. I'm going to bring the line from here down. And this is going to be his beak. And I'm going to curve this around more. So Mr. Duck can have a little bit more of a smiley face. Way he can be happy when he goes to the symphony. On Saturday, I'm going to bring this down. Bring this up a little bit more. So this kind of curves around here and curves up. I'm going to add a little shadow, a little shading in there. And this will come around. And this will come around. So I'm going to make it bigger there. So Mr. Duck is smaller. So I'm not starting with any really dark lines, but I'm getting there eventually. This is a little piece of eraser I cut off. Sometimes it helps to shape them if you want to make special shapes. Sometimes it helps to have things like our pencil eraser. This one's square. This one's just like a pencil. And I put it into the uh, pencil sharpener to clean it off. I also use this or sandpaper, whatever. So now we're going to make an eye. Oops. Okay. So for the person that just logged in, I'm going to go over this really quickly. We'll do a really quick review. I started off with a circle here. It doesn't have to be an exact circle. You can have some issues. I made a cross in the center. I divided it in half. And I divided it in half again. This tells me where to make this beat. Then I took a little bit bigger circle down to there. And I marked it. And I used this exact measurement of my fingers. And I drew another circle here. The beak is basically a half a circle. That's where I know where it ends. And the front of his body is just a little bit behind his beak. The tail end of his body is just smaller in this circle. And I just made this brown shape over there to there. And then we finished his beak. Finished his beak. And now we're going to draw this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have questions and you want to stop me and ask me, that's fine. I'm going to lift this up for a second. Oops. It's rolling. This is rolling away. There's a quick 
quick look at what we've got so far. Also, if he just to let you know, also if he goes too fast, you could also let him know to slow down and he would definitely slow down and stop. Yes, I will slow down if I'm going too fast and you tell me that you need me to go slower. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Okay, so now I'm going to make an eyeball here. It's going to sit right on top of this halfway up line and it's going to go about halfway up. It's going to make an oval shape. And it's pretty much going to line up with that. And I'm going to put another oval inside and another oval inside of that. So this one, I'm going to leave a little light space there. I need a longer pencil. There we go. And I'm going to darken this one just a touch and darken the outside. And there we go. Okay, and there's a duck, he's got to breathe. So I'm making a little oval shape here, which is his uh, nostril. And I'm gonna erase this cross beam in the center because we don't need this anymore, nor do we need this. Now, you don't have to make him smiling. You don't have to make his eyes like I made mine. Look at, look them down so he looks like he's serious, a little serious stuff. Give him a little bit of an eyebrow around. I'm gonna give this duck a cheek right here. Are those like little eyelashes? It's hard to see. It's a little eyebrow. I just can't. Oh, okay. But uh, did you do little eyelashes above the eye? Um, it's a little bit hard to see. I thought I saw you draw something. I didn't draw eyelashes. I drew no. like eyebrows. Oh, okay. Okay. But if I wanted to draw eyelashes. A little line coming down, I see. Yeah, so we can we can have eyelashes. Technically, brush ducks don't have hair, but this is a rubber one, so it's not a real duck. <laughs> so okay. there. Okay, so I'm going to erase this circle in here so we can adjust that. Okay. We're going to add some shading on his beak. We draw the basic shapes and then we give him dimension with shadow. Shadow just makes him look like he's rounded. Or her. Him or her. I'm going to leave that a little light right there. Light right there. I'm going to take my paper towel here and make a point in it. And I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit. The nice thing about the paper towel, you don't always wanna make a black line. And if you use the paper towel or the paper stumps, you can make nice gray ones. Okay, so. I don't want this line to be quite so intense, so I'm going to shadow it a little bit along here. We're going to make a wing form. And you can do a lot of different things on your duck. It does not have to be a perfectly round head. You can make it elongated, change it a little bit. I'm going to give him a cheek. Not sure why, just hand. I'm going to leave a little light underneath his uh, chin here. And I'm going to bring this up and around. Let's 
So as we were discussing with the beach ball that we did earlier, Mr. Duck has uh, where this, the darkest part of the shadow on him is gonna be where it meets the light up here. We're assuming the light's coming from in front down. And a little dark around here. I'm not going to make this duck quite as shiny as the last duck we did. So I want to smooth this out a little bit. So I'm going to take my paper towel and wipe it. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to kind of go over all of this because I'm going to go back in with the eraser and make some highlights on this for her. I'm going to clean up the smudges on the outside edge. I'm going to erase that. So I gave the duck some eyelashes. And even though it's a duck, it still gets an eyebrow. No more. This guy's. Now go around here. And come around here. Now we want to have a wing for our duck. I'm going to let his tail go up a little bit more, a little higher. Just for interest. I'll erase that. Well, even with his eye down here, maybe a little further back. I'm going to do this is the wing. So this is like another curved teardrop shape. Shot in my pencil. I'll these other lines in there and clean them up. Clean this up. Okay, so I'm going to bring this around. Because we've got a light that's shining on this stuff. He's going to have a shadow from his head back here on the back, her back. Duck back. Another little shadow around here. Down and underneath. And I'm going to smooth that with my paper towel. Move this guy here a little bit. And I'll take this cut off eraser and just clean this line. And he has plastic, so he will have a little bit of shine to him. I'm going to bring this up around. And this up around. And I'm darkening under his wing here. And I'm going to darken over around here. And again, I'm holding the pencil between my thumb and my index finger, just like this. 
So I can use the entire length of the pencil lead to shade in. A lot of times I don't even use pencils, I use graphite sticks because it's easier for that kind of stuff. But everybody has a pencil, they're easy to get. And we're going to add some shading on as well. Down around here. Two feathers here. See the scallops, not much. Don't need a whole lot of details in a rubber duck. Bring some lines up here. And that one is quite a minute. So we don't want hard edges on anything. Jack can Jack, can you hold that up close so we can see what those look like, please? Okay. They're just little scallops. Okay, and there's the face, the duck face. I'm gonna take this and clean this up a little bit. For those of you that don't have one of these, you can take the paper towel and wrap it, depending on how pointed you want it, you can wrap it around the pencil, pencil lead. It's pencil lead. Now. So I'm just wrapping it around the pencil lead and use this to kind of smooth this out with. And then once I pick up enough graphite on this paper towel, I can use it to make some nice gray lines so I can soften up the other ones. Okay, and if I don't, I can take it off the sandpaper here where I sand it on the pencil and do that. Longer pencil, so you can see what I'm doing there. It's going to add some shading around the bottom edge of these and some shading around here. So we go from the very simple to the more complex on a gradual basis. And just a little shadow up on top to make it look like it's rounded. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this, smooth these out a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this pencil for right now. And just use the very tip of this. I want to kind of make my spiny point. And because this has graphite on it, I'm actually making this now a light gray because I'm going to go in with my eraser and cut out highlights.
And some of you may have noticed that I act like I've drawn a duck before. We go. So we're going to have a little bit more shadow in here. So I'll just lightly do this. And go do that. And then we'll some shadow along. The outside edge of its wing. That's more shadow here for its cheek. And there we go, and there we go. And this is duck should not be floating in the air, so we put some water down here. Then erase your dust. Another line over here. And we have a I'll darken along the bottom of the duck. And let this come down. So those of you that want, you can add more background into your duck depending on what you want to do with them later on. Make up something, make them in a park, the forest. Factory complex out at the airport, whatever you choose. <laughs> Smearing this around. And add some more over here. We got water. Go on down the page. Okay, I'm going to take my eraser. And I'm going to add some little highlights in here. Sometimes you'll find your eraser gets too much stuff on it. You need to clean it off, which is where the sandpaper comes in, or a wall, or a brick. Bricks are actually really good for that. It's another line thing down here. Around here, so this is our basic duck. Give me a little shine here. Top of his feathers. Somewhere in the water. I'm going to cut some little lines in. And shine on the cheek a little bit. Shine on the head a little bit. And along the beak, this bottom edge will have white shining on it. So I'm going to put the line in there. A little bit of a line in there, and a little bit of a line in there. So there we are so far. And like this, I'm thinking my duck looks a little plain. So I think. You guys don't have to do this, you can do whatever you want. This duck. Now has a hat.
And we'll darken this line here with a half inch to head. And obviously, there will be a shadow on the duck sword from the hammock. And I'll this down. And I'll this down. This side, this side. It will have a little bit of that to it. I'm going to lay some duck head in here. Read it in his back. So I'm going to give him a half band. So we need a little shine to this back band, a little texture. So I'm not going to blend this. I'm going to leave it. It's little cross hatches. And then I'm going to add some light shadow to the top of that. I don't want it to be too dark. Paper towels blowing the least. Smoothing this out a little bit. Just come down a little bit here. If you wanted to give the duck some glasses, you could make it holding something. You can do more with the background, like I said. Brings around a little bit. Just to find that a little more. And there's our dot so far. And a little wall over here. Some trees. Just a background, I don't have to do too much to it. Some of that one. So this out a little bit. So it's a 20 minute duck. Should be a guy on a bicycle over there. Yeah.
Not sure why. So you could give your duck glasses, you could give your duck different hats, different colors, a little different shading. The last stuff we did had reflections of palm trees in it. Just adding a few more little accents to them. This particular duck drawing, I think I'm going to post the video on Facebook so you can see it if you want. And we're going to repeat this again sometime soon in the near future. And we're going to actually do a similar type of thing with painting in my Saturday painting class. I'm going to give his hat a little bit of an edge to it. So it's got a thickness. I'm going to take my pointed pencil eraser here and just erase along the line. A little dirty side. Sharpen it. And there is our duck. Seems a little big out here, but I think you'll get some of that. I'm getting some more back here. That one's for that. It's got a big one on it. And the darkness. A little bit more. There's a dark, dark one. It's fun there. Yes, and smooth it. And then, of course, this part. <laughs> See the dark. Such as he is, I'm gonna drop him under here. Under his chin, just a little bit more. And along the base of his beak right here. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. So there is our duck. Now's the point where I get to I see- I got a picture of him, Jack. Upside down. Oh, sorry. I moved the camera. Oh. It auto adjusts. 